Hello. In this video, we are going to have a look at creating a fence. Now, to do this, we're going to have an introduction into actually creating new families. And then we're going to use the railing command to create our fence. Now, here is a project that um, is incomplete. So the first thing we're going to do is have a little look at creating the family elements of the fence. So I'm going to go to the file tab and select new family. Then you have to pick a relevant family. So I'm going to go for the metric baluster. Okay, and say open. And now it will open this up for me and open up these various views of it. We are on the left elevation and going to now create an extrusion for the piece of the fence, the baluster. On the specifier work plane, because I'm looking at it on the left, I'm going to click the left right and say OK. And then using the draw command, we can quickly create our baluster part of the fence. So I'm just going to resize this and make it overall 100 millimeters. Notice how I'm just repositioning the dimensions so that I can change them like that. And then the overall dimension, I don't want that at 900, I'll make it 900 rather than 920. And then I'm going to delete that top bit and have a little pointy top on the fence. Like so, just use the trim command to join those two together. Then we've got extrusion end. So this is going to tell us how thick the piece of wood is. Now I don't want it 250 millimeters thick. I'll have it 25 millimeters thick. And then we've also got category. So I'm just going to click into the category. Now you may find, as we do here, a very limited amount of the materials are actually showing up. So I'm going to click on the home button and then it brings up the folder here, which I can double click. And now I can scroll through the larger selection. So I'll go for birch. There we go. And then click the little arrow just to pop it into the selection by here. And that's that. Click OK. OK. Then we'll big green tick. And now we can see that if we zoom right in down there. And we have created our three-dimensional panel. Okay, if we change that to realistic, we can see the wood texture on there as well. Now, what I'm going to do then is go to properties. And this is something I would recommend you do when you're creating new families and new models, or new families, is actually click the little new and just name it. So, in the fence balustrade there we go and then say okay it would be a good idea at this point to file save as save as a family and then save it somewhere where you can then refer back to your um, families that you've created okay so i can go in there and i'm going to put it onto that one there and just replace the one i did earlier so save yes Right. So once we've done that, 
we can then press the load into project and it will want to know which project sometimes to load into. Well, we want to load into this project, which I've already got open. So it's loaded it in there now. So what I'm going to do next is go to the railing, sketch a path, quickly just put a railing along here, change it to the pipe railing because that will be easier to modify with the timber fence that we're looking at. Big green tick. Let's have a quick look at that in our 3D view. So we can see it by there. Now what we could do while we're at this point, rather than having it just level along there, we could pick host, point at that floor and see how the railing then shapes itself to the contour of the ground. So that's a handy little trick. Now we're going to click on the railing that we've created, edit the type, duplicate it, and we're going to call it timber fence. Say OK. Baluster placement, edit. We can see the existing selection of 25mm round. We're now going to change it to the one that we have just created by there. OK. Next, we have these. I'm just going to actually select none on these ones by here. There we go. And going back over here, we've got the top of it at the moment is the top rail. So we'll just leave that as it is for now. The distance from the previous. Now I don't want them a meter apart. So I'm going to set that to just 75. There we go. And we'll see what that looks like. So we'll say OK at this point. OK. I'm going to get rid of the top rail because I don't want a top rail on this. And now I'll say OK. And we can see now that actually 75 wasn't very good because it was actually going from start to start. So it's not distance between each other, but it's actually distance at centers. So I can just go back in, edit that again, change that to 175 now, and then say OK. And there we go. That looks much better. So we can now see we have a fence. But around the back of the fence, we do have these round or railings. So we now need to create an extra rail. So we're going to do the same thing as we did previously. File, new family. And we want to look for one that's got rail in the description. So I'll just scroll down until we find it. There we go. Metric profile rail. Open. And then that will bring up a new reference for us to draw it on. For this one, we are going to use the line command. And again, just create a small rail. Just quickly put it in. And then we can edit the size. So I'll make it a 24. And I'm going to make this 75 overall, so 37.5 on each end. Okay, so there is our railing. And again, I'm going to just check the data on this and call it a timber rail at 25 by 75. So OK, OK, and then file 
save as family and call it 25 by 75 timber rail save. Once I've saved that, I'm going to load it into the project. Okay, so make sure it's in the project that you want it to be in. Now I can click on my railing down by here. Let's go back to the 3D view so we can see the change as it happens. And again, edit type. Don't need to duplicate it this time. Okay, we've got the rail structure. So we can click on that. Now we can see at the moment there's four rails. And here's the height of each rail. Don't want four rails with the timber one. So I'm going to get rid of rails two and three. Um, the bottom rail, I think, is a little bit close to the ground at the moment, so I'm going to make that a 175. Okay, now we get to pick which type of rail we want. And again, we want to use the one we've just created, 25 by 75. There we go. Category. So, material, birch. Okay. And we'll just do that on this one as well. So now we've got that done. Click OK and OK again. And there is our timber fence. And we'll just change it to realistic view so we get a little look at it as it should be. And there is our introduction into creating some families and making a nice fence.